Hi guys, it's Azim again from Redsco.com. In the previous video tutorial, we implemented this uh, save method of our bookstore application. And in this video, we are going to implement this edit method. So let's get start. We are getting the ID of the book that we want to edit. So first, let's find this book. Book is equal to book dot find by id and then we are going to pass this id and uh, this will help us to find this book now let's create form book form is equal to form factory dot form book dot class Now we need to pass this form to our view. Let's create view, edit, and uh, I'm going to copy all this code from uh, the create view to this edit view. And let's change this to edit book, edit book, and edit book and in this case we are not going to send a post request to save method because that method will save the book into our storage now we need to make request to update method that will update this book okay perfect now let's pass this form to our view edit dot render book form and don't worry about this warning when sbt compile this uh, project it will be resolved yeah it's done now let's uh, go back to our browser refresh it and we have two books by default and let's say let's go to edit page of book number one and uh, as you guys can see that uh, we are able to load this form but we are not getting the values of the book that's because we are creating this form with the help of uh, this book class and uh, this form doesn't know about the book that user is going to edit so we have to tell this form that uh, hey this is the book that uh, you need to edit so what we can do is we can use the fill method that will take uh, the book object and uh, it will fill this form and return this form to this form object and now let's refresh it again and it works perfect now i need you to pay attention here if i change this to for example 2 uh, this is going to work again because we have two books with the id of 1 and 2 but what if user type for example something like 5 here it doesn't work because we are getting null from this method so to get rid of this exception let's uh, change this code little bit if book is null then we are going to send another type of response to user which is not found and then we will specify the string of this response for example let's say um, book not found Let's try it again and it works. If we inspect this request, just watch here. I'm going to clear this console. As you guys can see that we are getting HTTP 404 response. Okay, perfect. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we are going to implement this update method so that we can actually update this book. 
I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will catch you in the next one.